these methods that we've been talking about so far, the headphone-based methods, they're obviously very suitable for uh, virtual reality goggles because the user has to wear uh, hardware anyway, so, and it is easy to just add headphones to the hardware. And this is actually done, for example, by, uh, by Oculus Rift or other um, virtual reality goggles. Uh, if they come with headphones, you can be fairly sure that they're performing binaural audio reproduction. Wearing headphones is, of course, not very suitable for projection-based systems. That is, systems that don't make the user wear goggles, but uh, that, that provide the visuals on some uh, projection screen. And the user might still uh, be required to wear some sort of glasses, for example, shutter glasses, that um, that synchronize or uh, that uh, that uh, take care uh, um, of uh, or that make the user see the right image at the side, uh, at the right moment. But still, you would not want the user to wear headphones in this case. First of all, they are not very uh, comfortable, and also if there are several users inside such such a system, you would want them to inter uh, to communicate with each other without uh, the um, isolation um, that might be provided with headphones. So here's an example of a projection-based system. Here's another example. This one has only one screen, but there are also projection-based systems that have screens all around the user and even the floor, and sometimes also the ceiling can be a screen. So for those systems, we would not want to use uh, headphones. We would like to install loudspeakers somewhere and, uh, make these, and use these loudspeakers to reproduce the audio. The straightforward method for this would be stereophony, uh, in which, uh, which uses two loudspeakers and, a lo and uh, it assumes that the user is located at the symmetry plane between those loudspeakers. The angles that are indicated here, they are not like strict requirements. There's a certain uh, um, range of angles that works well. And it happens so if you, play, if you make both loudspeakers play the same signal, the user that is located and uh, oriented, like indicated on this plot, will then hear a sound source in the middle between the two loudspeakers. It is actually not so straightforward to uh, explain why we hear only one sound source, although there are two physical sources and the location of that sound source that we're hearing does not even coincide with any of the physical sources. Because of this m kind of mystery, um, one did one terms the sound source that we're hearing, in this case, uh, if it's in the center, it would be in the center, one terms this sound source phantom source to indicate that there is a more complicated situation going on. Um, if you would like to render or make the user perceive a sound source that is not strictly at uh, in the center between the two loudspeakers, you change the relative amplitudes of the signals that uh, you play through the loudspeakers or you change the timing. So for example, if you keep the timing uh, synchronized, so both loudspeakers play at the same time, and you increase, say, the level of the left loudspeaker, then um, th the higher the level will be, the more will a user localize a sound source towards the left loudspeaker. So it can, uh, any angle um, is possible. And similarly, if the right loudspeaker plays louder, then the user will hear the sound source further to the right. If both loudspeakers radiate at a constant amplitude, um, but if you delay the signal of one loudspeaker, so let's say we're delaying the signal of the right loudspeaker slightly, then the user will also hear this, uh, the phantom source, will localize the phantom source closer to the leading loudspeaker. And the timing differences that are being applied are in the order of one millisecond or smaller. One speaks of uh, one also speaks of amplitude or delay panning in this case, but um, for the downside is that um, it works only rel uh, reliably with the listener facing the two loudspeakers. So if you allow allow the user to me move freely, um, it doesn't work as well. And if the if the user rotates or moves away from the symmetry plane, and another downside is also that you can only render phantom source angles between the two loudspeakers, so you can't render anything on the side. You could of course have more loudspeakers and then do pairwise panning, but as I've mentioned, the orientation of the listener is very important, so if you do panning between two loudspeakers that are lateral to the user, it will not work as reliably.